Hello guys, welcome once again. Last time we have seen seen how to populate this combo box with your database values. And this time we will see when you select one of these database value corresponding data should appear in this in these fields. So for example, I have uh, this uh, database in my SQL and I will choose John's John and corresponding to data of John which is employee ID 1 surname Bell and age 27 should appear in these text boxes so how to do this I will show you now so let's get started go to the program form 2 and select this combo box and by default if you go to the events here this sign you can see by default its uh, event here is selected index change so if the index of this combo box changes then it it will show some values here so we don't need to change its uh, default event just double click it and make space for writing your program so first thing you need to do is copy the name of this combo box and from here and into the program write string this cap sign and then combo value for combo well And then our combo box name and so I will write arrow pointer text and this close so this will take the value from combo box and place it into the string variable now go to the code we have written last time fulfill combo method this code and in this uh, function we have written our code so in the function the whole code you can copy and paste it in this combo box selection selected index change method this will save our time to write the code so this is this has already made uh, this code has to make the connection with the database and this is to pass the query so what I have done is I have taken the combo box value in the string variable name and from my fill combo method I have taken all the code from this string to the end of this catch block in my combo box selected index change uh, method and now I will change this query previously we have written st select star from database dot e data which is my this database and this table so database dot e data okay so this query we will edit a bit we will write select star from database dot e data where and then write two single quote then two double quote and in between plus plus and in between we will write 
our variable which we have taken from our combo box here so take this combo box variable combo well and paste it paste it in between this plus plus sign okay so select star from database dot table where our name is equal to because we are filling name into our combo box according to our last video so select star from database where name is equal to the value in the combo box and names we are taking from this column in the database okay so now what will happen when you select this name this should uh, make some this should I mean this should show the corresponding data according to the name selected so go to the try catch block and here is the while loop we have written instead of this while loop you write if so if this selected query is okay then what we will do is I will delete all this data in if condition and we will write our code once again so what we will write take a string variable sorry yeah. string, the string and this cap symbol and then employ id variable so eid when is equal to is equal to sorry is equal to this m my reader variable name from my data my scale data reader then arrow pointer and then write get int 32 and bracket and bracket closed and in here because we are taking int we need to write int 2 int 2 string and bracket because our employee id is a int variable you can see from here these are all in teachers and if you go to database and say alter table it will open your tables yeah. you can see our employee id is a int data type and age is a int data type that's why we need to convert our int to string to in order to show it into the text box otherwise we cannot show direct integer value into our text box so that's why this conversion is written and in here we will pass what e id which is this column name employee id column name e id okay so the next thing we need to do is copy this to four times and 
this is for showing the employee ID in your uh, employee ID text box so go to your employee ID text box here and copy the name of this employee ID text box EID text in my case and paste it here and then arrow text and in here you know this bracket should not be like this write equal to and this e value variable name so it takes the employee id in the form of string and then it will place into the eid text box and one thing here i forgot r two strings okay and then the next is the name so i will write name value and instead of this get int i should write string and because it's the string we know don't need this string anymore and this is for the name n a m e name which is this column name name okay and once again for the surname it's also a string so we will just copy and paste it here and the value surname variable name and here also we will write surname okay and this is the age so we will write age value which is a integer so get int 32 and here we will write age to string which is this age column okay so just we have written here and now we have taken these name value in this variable and just uh, go to your form and copy the name text fields name from here it's called name text and copy and just paste it here arrow sign and then equal to your this name value okay just copy once again and paste it here and once again and paste it here in order to save time and this variable here this age variable here and just I need to see the name of my surname text field so it's surname text copy it and paste it in instead of this text and just see the name of your age text field and copy it and paste it instead of here so what we have done is we have taken these column values from the database and place it into the string variable and then string variable to the text field here okay so let's try and run our program let's see if it works or not yes no it's not working because this here is the spelling mistake to string I have corrected here but not here so I will paste it here once again and let's see uh, if this time our code works or not no let's see why okay so 
the mistake is I haven't taken this text I haven't written this here so after your text box name arrow pointer and then you have need to write this text here also text and here also text okay so let's try once again and yes this time we are lucky and it runs so enter your password and username okay and you can see all the names are filled here from our last video code and when we choose some name here according to the name all the data should appear here so let's see John yes one John Bell and this I want to choose this one and yes the data appears and let's verify our data from our database so when I choose this Hassan the employee ID is appeared here his surname is here and his age is here so it's showing me the correct values so in this way you can see how to fix or how to show the corresponding values in the, the combo box and in the text box you can show so that's it for now please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now